A bowel obstruction is a blockage of the intestines that can be caused by mechanical or non-mechanical factors. Mechanical blockages involve a physical impediment within the bowel, such as adhesions, tumors, hernias, strictures, or foreign objects. Twisting of the intestines, called volvulus, or a section of the bowel telescoping into itself called intussusception, are also mechanical causes. Non-mechanical blockages, like an ill lies, occur when bowel peristalsis stops, often due to abdominal surgery. The blockage disrupts the normal function of the intestines, preventing nutrient absorption and water reabsorption, potentially leading to bowel necrosis, perforation, and peritonitis if left untreated. Risk factors for bowel obstruction include abdominal surgery, gastrointestinal cancer, chronic inflammatory conditions like Crohn's disease, hernias, prior radiation therapy, opioid use, severe constipation, and certain diabetes medications like GLP-1-RA. Common signs and symptoms of bowel obstruction include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting with emesis that may contain stool, abdominal distension, changes in bowel movements, inability to pass gas, and changes in bowel sounds. Diagnosing a bowel obstruction typically involves an abdominal CT scan with contrast, which can pinpoint the obstruction's location and severity. Preliminary abdominal x-rays and various lab tests such as CBC, electrolytes, and lactic acid levels can also help identify complications like necrosis or sepsis. Management of bowel obstruction varies based on severity and type. Inserting a nasogastric tube is a common intervention to decompress the bowel, prevent vomiting, and measure output. Patients may also require IV fluids, electrolyte replacement, and total parenteral nutrition if unable to eat for extended periods. Limiting opioid use and administering antibiotics are additional supportive measures, as well as encouraging ambulation to promote peristalsis. Some clients may require surgical intervention to treat the blockage. The surgical procedure needed will depend on the degree and type of obstruction, but may include removing the affected portion of the bowel and creating a stoma. Nursing interventions for bowel obstruction include monitoring bowel sounds, intake and output, vital signs, electrolyte levels, and passage of flatus. Nursing actions include encouraging ambulation, administering prescribed IV fluids and electrolytes, encouraging non-pharmacological pain relief methods, and potentially inserting and managing cares related to an NG tube. Patient education is crucial, focusing on the impacts of opioid use on bowel function, explaining the purpose and care of the NG tube, and preparing the patient for potential surgical procedures. The overall goals of nursing interventions are to alleviate symptoms, restore normal bowel function, prevent complications, and educate clients on self-management after discharge. Effective evaluation involves regular assessment of whether the patient's pain, bowel movements, nutritional status, hydration levels, and overall recovery align with the expected outcomes. Adjustments to the care plan are made as necessary to ensure all goals are met, thus ensuring the patient's safe and complete recovery from the bowel obstruction.